Nintendo finds themselves in a very fascinating situation. They've announced that the Nintendo Switch successor is coming, and there will be an announcement related to it at some point this fiscal year. And obviously, we have all rumors and leaks and all that stuff uh, surrounding that and my hot chip bet for a reveal this month. But none of that has anything to do with like what Nintendo is dealing with internally. They are obviously just focusing on whatever their game plan is for that successor. But in the meantime, Nintendo is still planning to sell 13.5 million Nintendo Switches this fiscal quarter, and it's entirely possible the Switch 2 will be coming out in the following fiscal year and not this one. And the problem when you have a successor coming is it does make people a little bit wary about buying a new Nintendo Switch today. Now, I think the general consumer probably isn't even aware the Nintendo Switch successor is coming. Most general consumers buying a platform in year eight are not the kind of people following Nintendo's accounts and keeping up to date on all the latest and greatest things going on at the big end. Look, these are going to be your moms, your dads buying, you know, extra systems for you know, kids and stuff like that. Like anyone who likes to have technology out and around launch date are the kind of people that already bought a Switch. In fact, they not only probably bought a Switch, they probably also bought a Switch OLED at least and possibly even one other special edition Switch, whether it was a normal Switch or a special edition Switch Lite like the upcoming Zelda one or any of the numerous amount of, well, special edition Switch OLEDs they've done. So really the Nintendo Switch successor news isn't for the people that would buy a system this holiday. If that's the number one reason that people argue if they revealed a Nintendo Switch system, a Nintendo Switch 2 system right now, it probably wouldn't impact the holiday sales that much because after all, most people thinking about buying a Switch at this point aren't the kind of people that are thinking about buying a Switch 2 at least not right now. They're probably going to consider a product like that four or five years down the road. Now, that being said, uh, what this has to do with Switch 2 is quite fascinating since it's being claimed by a very reliable person that Nintendo has a unique holiday bundle coming out. Now, that holiday bundle appears to be Europe only, although there's some sort of bundle happening here in the U.S. And I had talked about how Nintendo might price drop stuff this holiday, but the alternative to price dropping things is to just do a lot of bundles. Keep the price at 350 keep it at 300 keep it at 200 but just start bundling games in. And as you bundle games in, it, you know, it kind of subconsciously in people's minds increases the value of the purchase you're buying. So like you might still spend $350 in November for a Switch OLED, but maybe you get a game or two and some Nintendo Switch online packed in with it. That makes it just feel like a good value. So it's almost like a price drop without price dropping. You're just putting more in the box to make it feel like you're getting a better value and you are in many cases especially if it's a game or nso is something you truly value now what i find fascinating here is we're going to be talking about bill bill come one of the most reliable leakers out there and when it comes to stuff like this he's pretty accurate but he twists what he knows to mean something negative against the switch too and i find it to be fascinating and that's why we have to talk about this, uh, because there's a lot of things that go behind all of this. Uh, Bill Bill Kun, uh, this all started with this tweet here, where he said, Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever it will be called, revealed this month. Really? Uh, and it's notable that when he made this post, uh, this person here, Ryan from the Bronx that we covered yesterday, is supposedly Midori. And Midori said, really? As in, yeah, he's basically saying it's being revealed this month. Now, that's just another person to throw on the pile for a September reveal, but that's neither here nor there. We're focusing first on Bill Bill Khan. So what did he mean by this stuff? Well, it turns out we know exactly what he meant because he went ahead and announced it the next day. Bill Bill Khan came out and said, upcoming release. He says, some quote unquote industry insiders are hyping for a Switch successor announcement this month, which is, you know, look, outside of technically outside of this person, this Ryan from the Bronx that claims to be Midori, no other insider has specifically said it's being revealed this month, but there's definitely some chatter anyways that it might be. But he says, but hey, here is something Nintendo will really announce, a new Switch OLED bundle featuring Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and here's all our exclusive details. And uh, look, there's definitely a, a little bit of agenda-ness going on here because Bill Bilkun does know some information, especially when it comes to upcoming retail. Uh, but I find it quite fascinating that he's choosing specifically to 
attack switch two information in this way. We'll go over to his article here over on Dio Labs where he says, we reveal a brand new switch OLED pack coming soon to Europe and other regions of the world. I want to note this is machine translated by Google. It says, while most of the world's uh, news is focused about the imminent arrival of the successor to the Nintendo Switch, we're going to take your mind off things a bit by revealing a very real release of a new bundle containing existing Nintendo hardware, which of course, if you wanted to take people's minds off, the successor you probably shouldn't mention it in the article that you're announcing the bundle in but he's not done uh he says so rumors about the arrival of a potential successor uh, to the nintendo switch console have only intensified in recent days remember he said he wanted to take our minds off it and he's bringing it up yet again so that's three times now uh, even the boss of gameindustry.biz had mentioned it in a tweet mentioning that several rumors pointed to an announcement during the month of september so that is now four people four mentions here i should say and yet what we are about to reveal to you today seems to affirm the complete opposite, which it doesn't, and we'll explain in a moment. Uh, are these rumors too fanciful? Again, he can't stop talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 in an article that's not about the Nintendo Switch 2. Fascinating, isn't it? Can't tell if there's a, some sort of agenda going on here. Anyways, in any case, it seems that Nintendo is not going to quickly abandon its marketing operations around the Switch OLED, which nobody said they were going to do that. Indeed, and according to our latest information, a brand new Switch OLED pack containing a game from a flagship Nintendo license is being prepared for an upcoming release. Below was revealed everything we know about this new Nintendo Switch OLED pack, which was also available in France. So he knows specifically it will be available in France not necessarily what other countries. So our information on the new Switch OLED plus Super Mario Bros. Wonder Pack. Following our recent investigations, we are able to establish the existence of a new pack containing the OLED model of the Nintendo Switch with the latest game in the Super Mario license, which has garnered many positive reviews. The pack contains the following Nintendo Switch console OLED white model. So not even a special edition console, just the normal OLED white model, the Super Mario Bros. Wonder game download code, and a three-month subscription to Nintendo Switch Online service, which makes a lot of sense. There is some online stuff in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, according to the first visual in our possession, we see that the console included in the packet is the base model of the old Switch OLED in white. This console, therefore, has no new dedicated design. Only its packaging will be obviously entitled to a dedicated design with the background of the game of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, region concerns. So, according to our information, Nintendo will market this pack in France and throughout the European region. The North American region will also be entitled to a new Switch OLED pack, but we aren't able to determine precisely if it was the same pack described above. We will update this article as soon as we get new information about the packs released in North America and their prices. Now, prices in Europe. The Nintendo Switch OLED plus Super Mario Bros. Wonder will launch at a recommended price of €349 Euros in Europe, which, by the way, is the standard price of a Nintendo Switch OLED. So no price increase here to include the packing game, hence why it's sort of like a price reduction uh, depending on if you value what's included with the system. Now, announcement and release date. There are two pieces of information that we were able to obtain with precision. One thing is certain, the pack will be released before mid-October. That's just what they have, apparently. A few candidate release dates uh, we were able to report to was September 23rd and October 3rd. So he basically thinks one of those two days the pack might release or be announced or, you know, something. It's going to happen before the middle of October. Those are the two dates that are being thrown out there. Uh, September 23rd would be an interesting one, obviously, because we know that there's a Switch Lite launching on September 26th. Uh, October 3rd, to me, seems like a probably a much more likely launch time for the system. I also don't think there's going to be like a big marketing campaign behind this. It's probably just going to be a tweet announcement. Now, that's exciting. I'm glad to see there's going to be new holiday bundles. And I'm going to be honest, I expected new holiday bundles. It's one of the things we talked about all year. After they announced that the successor was coming, how is Nintendo going to sell systems this holiday to new interested buyers? You pack things in and make it feel a value, or you do massive price drops. They're deciding to do pack-ins. Okay, fine. That actually makes a lot of sense. Mario Wonder is new enough that a lot of new owners, especially, or people considering buying a Switch may not own it. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't be surprised if the North American one's more like Zelda-related, maybe a Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening, and or Tears of the Kingdom style bundle. I could see them doing something like that, especially when you consider Tears of the Kingdom isn't really selling like super well quarter to quarter. I could really see them doing like a Zelda pack-in in North America, thinking that might have a grander appeal than a side-scrolling Mario game. It's probably even a smart move for the holiday season if that ends up being the North American one. Now I'm just taking a shot in the dark. But 
What I don't like about all of this is Bilbo Khan is being extremely confident that because this bundle is coming, Nintendo will not announce the Nintendo Switch 2. And I think it's fascinating because Nintendo's done this before. In fact, Nintendo not only discontinued the Wii U before they even announced the Nintendo Switch in 2016, after they announced the Nintendo Switch in 2016 in October, they announced this mystical Wii U bundle in Europe. That's right. They weren't even making Wii U's anymore. They already announced the Nintendo Switch. They had the NES Classic Edition coming that holiday, and they announced a brand new Wii U bundle with games in Europe. Yeah, it's almost as if announcing bundled systems for the holidays has nothing to do with whether or not a system is announced and is rather just about selling systems that holiday. Look, the Nintendo Switch 2 is not coming out this holiday. They were always going to have bundles. They were always going to do these things. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle is probably coming back because it's been there every single holiday. Other bundles might come back. We might see Pokemon bundles return, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to have probably not just this bundle. I would be surprised if there's four or five, six different types of bundles for both the Switch Lite, the Switch OLED, and the base Switch coming out this holiday season or coming back from what Nintendo's done in the past. So don't be surprised if you see a bunch of these bundles announced over the next month or two because, again, Nintendo's trying to push systems still this holiday and it does appear and, and what this kind of confirms to me is that nintendo won't be doing any traditional price cuts they'll just be putting games in supplying a bunch of those to retailers this holiday and hoping they sell on the back of being a better value than selling the base system on its own it's actually in my opinion quite smart for nintendo especially if all the games they pack in like a mario wonder or a tears of the kingdom potentially are games that aren't particularly selling super well today aren't as evergreen as maybe nintendo hoped so instead you pack them in you're you 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 know taught to you know try to tell people you're getting a 60 70 dollar value packed in for free and it just sounds like a really good deal this holiday so that to me is probably what nintendo is looking to do here and i don't know what this has to do with nintendo switch 2 i what, what i don't like is when uh people who get inside information they find out about one thing and then they make giant leaps of conclusions based off that one thing that has nothing to do with the other. And that's my problem with the way Bilbo kind of handled this. Now look, the Nintendo Switch 2 may not be revealed this month at all. It is Nintendo's priority behind the scenes. That doesn't mean they're gonna stop selling Switches. Like they're clearly still trying to sell Switches. That is also a priority for them. I do think though that it, it's just a little bullheaded pig-headed maybe a bit to just assume because you know one little retail nugget about nintendo that that means you know about nintendo's plans to announce something that's not planned to be in retail till sometime next year knowing about nintendo's announcement plans versus knowing about what nintendo's going to put into a store coming soon are two entirely different things because you can get that store information from retailers right you can literally just have friends at retailers that handle inventory that know this system's coming because they got to sell it versus actually having access to developers and knowing what the hell is happening with game announcements and all that stuff so uh, it's also notable that bill bill Kun, he, well he's a very reliable insider Almost all of his information is about Sony. He only has like a few sparing retail things with Nintendo. And yeah, he's very accurate. And I actually don't doubt his report. A Wonder Bundle in Europe is probably happening. It might even be a Wonder Bundle here in the United States. Although I think Tears of the Kingdom makes for a better choice. But either way, I think Nintendo is perfectly positioned at the moment to just do a bunch of these bundles. I don't know what this has to do with anything. Uh, Nintendo, it, people are under this assumption that if Nintendo announces a system, they're just done supporting the current one, uh, and Nintendo is not going to be able to sell more of them. Uh, we had new 3DS bundles after the Switch was announced. We had new Wii U bundles after the Switch was announced. Uh, we had new bundles with the DS after the 3DS was announced. We've had, obviously, brand new games, like big exclusive games, come to prior platforms while a new platform was out. Hello, Black and White 2 coming to DS. Well, the 3DS is actually the hot stuff. Probably going to happen with Pokemon Legends EA again next year, where there might not be a specific Switch 2 version of that game next year. So I just kind of look at this whole situation as I don't think one really has anything to do with the other. In fact, you could almost argue if you want, and this is obviously a slanted take, that Nintendo announcing bundles of newer games that they are not discounted uh, for this holiday season might be an indicator 
that they feel like they need to increase the value proposition this holiday because of something else happening at the company. Because why would you include Mario Wonder or Tears of the Kingdom or any recent release from Nintendo in a bundle this holiday when Nintendo's still selling millions of these every quarter? Could it be that a pending announcement is coming and that announcement in lieu of Nintendo worrying that it could negatively impact hardware sales because guys, all they got to do is confirm backwards compatibility and it won't, it won't, it won't even partially stop software sales. But if Nintendo wants to continue to push hardware sales, then yeah, all they got to do is increase the value proposition. Pretty easy to do that by packing a $60 game in with the system, packing a $70 game in with the system. You actually increase the value proposition, which will keep things selling. It's almost like Nintendo has a plan and like they've done this before. So, while I don't know, obviously, if anything's being announced this month, I do think Nintendo is doing some interesting moves, and we're just going to have to pay really close attention. Also, uh, it's kind of funny, uh, Ryan from the Bronx that, you know, claims to be Midori and seems to have a little bit of evidence to suggest that that he is. Uh, what I find fascinating is, look, his reputation is just on the line, like, right now. He actually released a couple leaked footage for, like, Jet Set Radio, or maybe it was Crazy Taxi and Shinobi or something like that. And that footage checks out, and I guess some other insiders have had this footage uh, behind the scenes since 2022, so I don't know. But uh, So those are some legit leaks anyways that uh, Ryan from the Bronx has put out there now. But what I do find fascinating is, yeah, he basically responded to Bill Bill Khan that, yeah, really, like really, Nintendo is going to be revealing the Switch 2 this month. Really? So uh, that's just another piece of news out there. We'll have to see if it checks out. Uh, he's putting his reputation online. Because I'm going to say right now, uh, look, Nate the Hate didn't say it's being revealed this month. Technically, PH Brazil never said it was being revealed this month. Christopher Dring and Andy Robinson just said they've heard some whispers and some stuff about something switched to this month, but neither one of them have heard like directly from their own sources, hence why they didn't like you know put out an article. So they're not even committed. So there isn't really any insider at the moment except this Ryan from the Bronx guy that is fully committed to it being revealed this month. So, and then you have me, <laughs> I'm not an insider. I don't have like any developers or anyone telling me anything about when switch Two is coming. Uh, but I do have a hot chip challenge on it. And if it doesn't get revealed this month, you guys get to watch my torture on live on a live stream in October. So take that for what you will. All right. We're going to wrap things up there. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo freaking prime. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.